Anthony's up next in Miami, Florida. Anthony, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. How can I help? Awesome. So I am uh, 33 years old. I live in uh, Miami, Florida, so South Florida. I really love it down here. I love the lifestyle, the beaches, all that kind of stuff, of course. Um, I found my uh, passion and my, my, my ideal work about five years ago. What is and that? And I'm currently working in a... Hold on. Uh, Hold content, the uh, phone. What is it? <laughs> uh, it's video uh, content uh, production, specializing in video production and photography. Great. And now I'm gearing, to- gearing into marketing and okay. all that kind of stuff. Strategy, all right, you keep, you keep, you keep going. I just wanted to know what the, what the professional pinnacle was, video production and photography. Okay, keep going. Yeah, it took me a long time to figure that out, but I figured it out, thankfully. And um, I'm working in that uh, field right now, doing a little bit something different. I'm more of the strategy and analytics and like mm-hmm. content strategy. So it's really cool. Um, and um, I, I got an offer uh, with a company I used to work for uh, back home in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Um, and it's a great company, great culture, uh, potential long term. You know, I, I, I would be going into that job, you know, long term, uh, 10 years down the road. So it's a career. And I'd be doing kind of similar stuff, a little bit more uh, operations, like camera operations instead of strategy. But um, it's still kind of in the same field. And um, the only th- the the question I have is, I'm I'm kind of at this crossroads where it's like I got the lifestyle that I really love on top of the career and uh, down here um, in Florida. And back home, I would have more of the career, but less of the lifestyle. You know, like it's you know St. Louis is. You know, it's a fine city, but it's not, you know, my ideal, you know, play. Like, down here, I'm really inspired by the nature, the people. Like, and back home in St. Louis, it's just a little little bit different. All right, let um, me stop you for a second. So, let me stop you. Yeah. So, if I'm hearing you correctly, your dream job is video production and photography. That means you're doing the shooting and the editing and the planning and the content and all of that, Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a dream job. And if you want to go a step further, it would be for a company like I'm just throwing this out there, like Margaritaville Resort. That would be handling their social okay. media content, their photography, their video. That would be like the dream job, right? But my point is, you're the one coming up with the ideas, seeing it, and filming it, and being involved with the editing and all of that. Correct? Exactly. Yes. All right. So where I'm a little bit off is this St. Louis job. It, it's an operations role, the way you described it. I understand it's in the video production sector or field, but unless I'm missing something, am I am I right? It's an operations job? It's more of the operations. It's more of like handling the cameras, handling the photos, a little bit less the analytics, the strategy, the, okay. the leadership. Okay, so it is more in line with the dream then. St. Louis is more in line with the creative content and, 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 and making it happen. Yes. Well, I took this job down in. Uh, I took this job in. That's a good question. I took this job down in Miami about a about a, about a year ago, and it introduced me to the content strategy and the and the uh, analytics side of it. And I'm I'm good at that as well. And it's something yeah. that I well, but wait a second about doing but, too. So, I know, yeah. but what I'm trying to do is help you as your career coach. What forget St. Louis or Miami? The issue is, mm-hmm. I don't care if it's Timbuktu. What gets mm-hmm. you? higher up the ladder what keeps moving you up the mountain to the dream job is it st louis or is it the current gig in miami because it feels like in miami you're doing a little bit of content strategy and you're doing some analytics but you're not actually holding the camera or are you are you creatively coming up with sounds like content strategy is the creative side of you but then you got this analytical side of you so again i don't want to waste a bunch of time going back and forth here but if your dream job is to be working for a big time brand like Margaritaville and you're coming up with, we need to go do this type of video and we need to tell these kinds of stories and you're like a director producer. Is that what the dream role is? I think down the road, yes, that would be the dream, the dream role. So, I don't see myself holding the camera, you know, forever. I, I would be eventually moving into a position like that. Okay. So that's my point. So, so we only consider St. Louis and Miami, in my opinion, not for the lifestyle I'm living, but for the mountain I'm climbing. So does St. Louis move me further up the mountain? I can always leave St. Louis later. 
I could spend three to five years in St. Louis and find another great opportunity because of the current experience I got in St. Louis and I could move somewhere else. I don't buy that you got to stay in St. Louis for 10 years. I don't buy that. Now, you could also say no to St. Louis, and I'm fine with that too, as long as you are looking for opportunities in South Florida to keep climbing the mountain. So, But I'm never going to be a guy who lets my my geography, my zip code, determine my dream. But now, if you can climb the mountain by staying in South Florida, I'm fine with that too. Is that answering your question that you never kind of really asked? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to get your get your kind of mindset. I've been, you know, inside my own head a lot and asking a bunch of people. It's just it's good to hear uh, just your perspective on that. Where are you at? Um, Where are you at? Before you ask me the question, which way were you leaning? Yeah, I mean, like when I first got the uh, opportunity in 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 uh, St. Louis, my gut told me like um, to 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 wait to to keep building my skills and and apply to some of the bigger brands down the road. Um, but then, you know, uh, the more I thought about it, the more, you know, my grandpa's voice came back in my head my grandpa, you know, he's, uh, you know, physically conservative and he's like, he would have taken the job and he would have told me to take the job and I'm, you know, he's a smart guy. So, uh, trust your gut. It's kind of that, by the, the way, you have to, the, no, yeah. listen, you got to trust your gut. So grandpa's voice is your brain. But your initial, when you when someone says trust your gut, I've read about this. There's been a bunch of research done by um, scientists, physicists, and all this, and, and uh, I'm sorry, not, not physicists, uh, uh, neurologists and stuff like this about this, and this idea of the gut. The gut is the heart. It really is. They've done research on this. Yeah. And they, 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 they've researched a bunch of chess players, world-class chess players. They put a heart monitor on them. And here's the quick finding. Every time before these grandmaster chess players made a move that hurt them, that was a negative move, their heart rate spiked right before they made the move. Isn't that wild? And so what it was what? is their body... That, see, we always go, well, don't trust your gut, use your brain. Well, no. Your gut, your heart, is connected to the brain. And your body will tell you this is not a good decision. When you get a feeling, it's not just some random, well, I'm going to take a shot on my feeling. It's the same, the heart, that physical feeling is coming from the brain. It's the same. And so I think you got to trust your gut. I think your gut says, you know, this isn't the right move. I need to be patient um, and not take a promotion now. Not take the good. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to the good so that later I could say yes to the best. I think that's where you are. Yeah, I, I that's you know my gut said that, and um, it's just a, it's a, it's a good problem to have. Uh, yeah, for sure, it's not um, a problem. Listen, um, I think you stay. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you were asking well, me for? Well, yeah, yeah. Just to get your perspective. I appreciate I appreciate that. But listen to me, bro. I think you stay. But again, you stay because you're you're looking for the bigger opportunity and being in the Miami area, there's no question it's a better area to get connected with big brands. No question. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, it's, I feel like there's a little bit more risk in staying, but, you know, that old saying, uh, risk, uh, greater the risk, greater the reward. I don't so think I, this I is risky. Like I don't think it's risky. It's not like mm -hmm. you're not gainfully employed. You've got connections there. You're working. You're making, you're doing what you enjoy. Um, this is about finding the right mountain to climb, uh, but you know the type of mountain you're looking to climb. As long as you're going towards that, I'm fine with that. But don't ever let, well, I just love where I live. Well, oh, great. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, look. Uh, do I love Nashville? I love Nashville. Nashville's awesome. But I didn't move here because I love Nashville. I moved here, folks, because this is where I'm supposed to be. I mean, Ramsey Solutions could they could send an email today and go, "Listen, we're moving to uh, backwoods, whatever." I can't offend anybody. Guess what? That's where I'm going. I found the place that I'm going to retire. Oh, really? Hiawassee, Georgia. Really? Yes. 
it's uh, you know that's up in the Georgia mountains. Uh huh. Well, that's a pretty area, Joe. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, look it up. Well, thank you. Well, we can have this conversation offline. I love that Joe just decides to tell us his retirement destination right in the middle of the show. Well, my point being is that I found it, and now when I get the chance, I'm going to come back when I retire. Exactly. But the point is, folks, don't let your 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 zip code determine if you're going to pursue your dream. Don't do that. You're gonna, I'm telling you, it's never going to work out well for you. I promise. 